My name is Irla Davern. I'm from Ireland. Uh, my position is left back, sometimes play on the wing. Usually because there's a silent FH, uh, people go for ear flate. Um, that's my parents' fault. So I think people in Ireland call me ear flate as well. But the pr uh, correct pronunciation is like ear la. So I usually like ear la. That usually gets it. But over here I go as dav. It's just easier. My parents obviously, and I have two sisters and a brother and I have um, a nephew and a niece, so we're a very Irish family. The, both my parents are teachers and they're Gwilgors, so they're fluent speaking in Irish and in general all my f um, most of my family are fluent in Irish. You know, my older sister, teacher in Irish, my younger sister, teacher. My brother works um, in software and kind of computers, so I don't know what happened to me. I just kind of uh, verved to the other side and just sport is my real thing. Like so. That's um, family actually plan to come out here uh, this year to hope to get out in maybe May and September. So they love the games and they love the fa family atmosphere here. Uh, so this off season, um, once the season finished, I went back to Ireland. I was there about two or three weeks and realised that I was kind of getting bored. You know, I was kind of used to being in a locker room at the time. I said I, I need to do something. So a Thailand trip to PSC came along. So I went along to that for uh, ten days, I think it was. But I also had a friend who used to live in Thailand. So we decided to uh, travel it for five or six weeks afterwards. And that was brilliant. It was my second time to go there as well. And then just back in time for Christmas. Uh, so a lovely Christmas in Ireland with all my family. And then January was kind of time to be start thinking about Tulsa again. Just uh, general training. And I've come out a lot earlier this year as well. So it helps my visa got sorted quick. So I'm happy to be out here at the start of pre-season this year. Started playing professional soccer in Ireland at 16, 17. Uh, played with Athlone Town for a couple of years, then went to college in University of Galway and played there for four years. Then I played four years with Sligo Rovers and I think that pretty much brings me then to Tulsa last year. Uh, it's like every, in general soccer is the same game, like the only difference is here, it's a lot more athletic, um, probably better short passes of the ball compared to in Ireland, it's kind of more physical, more long passing. Um, but it's uh, it, probably an equal standard if you weigh it all together. For the first season of the club, I thought it was successful. I thought it was great to end with a, a win over Oklahoma at the very end. Even though we hadn't made the playoffs, it was important to, uh, to get those three points because they had made the playoffs and at the end of the day, they're our rivals. Um, the season was, when you put together a lot of new players, it's difficult to uh, gel straight away. So it probably took us about six or seven games. There was also an element of a few of us with visas came late. But I think after the 10th game, our form was probably as good as anyone in the East and West Conference. Uh, how I progress as a player is just little things. I suppose I'm one of the older uh, players in the team now as well. So I suppose maybe trying to communicate. Uh, played in different leagues, like so if any way I can help. A lot of the boys were rookies here. Um, but although I'm older, I'm kind of young at heart, I try to be. So just my progression was playing another year consistently trying to help out the boys when I can. Uh, but in general, all the lads are, they're kind of a different breed over here in America. They're, they're well educated and, and they know what they have to do themselves. Like, so um, me progressing as a player, I probably have stayed same level the last few years, but it's a, a level I'm happy with. My favorite moment in the 2015 season, there's probably a few. Uh, obviously, the first game against Seattle, didn't know what to expect. Um, I literally arrived two days before it coming out like the national anthems, I'm not used to any of that and there was a real kind of party atmosphere and I suppose I knew nothing about Seattle although they were top of the table and I think we went, I think we bet them 5-2 or 5-3 or something so that was a real highlight in One Oak as well, first game and probably other highlights then was we had a road trip um, to Colorado and they were top of the table as well and it was at altitude, everything was against us to win and we ended up winning 1-0 that look at that point that we could make the playoffs Probably Brady Ballou, he makes me laugh, he does, uh, he's also my roommate, uh, we got on very well as well, um, as in he's just a funny guy, down to earth and a good friend. Yeehaw! <laughs> Brady Ballou! <laughs> no, 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 sorry. Uh, actually, I'll do an impression of Brady Ballou. He's uh, dressed like this, we dress the same and I've told Brady in seven or eight years time, this is what you're going to look like because we are the same person. Uh, I was teaching Henry some Irish uh, dancing lessons, uh, a few little jigs and stuff like that. I think it's going to be our little celebration this year. Uh, if, as long as he teaches me some uh, Ivory Coast moves, uh, he's got a lot more rhythm than I do. I can do a few little um, Irish dancing moves, but you wouldn't want to see me in Legends. I'm not that good.
You want to show us a little Irish jig? Right now? <laughs> Go on, son. Ready? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> so you can expect to see that. Yeah, yeah, it'll come out again, it'll come out again, yeah. Not to be, uh, I know he's my roomie, I'm looking after him, but Brady did a karate kick against a flag that was quite impressive. And when he got his shirt off that time, I was like, wow. <laughs> it's the surprise of scoring a goal is usually my best celebration, but uh, I had one uh, back home, a fairly uh, successful goal, say in a big game. I didn't know what to do, just ran around, and that's usually the best thing to do, that don't plan it, see whatever happens. That's usually the best. But your teammates chase you. That's, yeah, they try to catch me. They can catch me a lot easier these days when I'm a little bit older, but before they couldn't catch me. <laughs> yeah, the atmosphere in One Oak is the, definitely the best in the league. Like, um, I wasn't, I didn't know what to expect when I came here and I saw this new stadium. I was like, it's great, but will it be filled? And then generally, like, you know, the big games and all that, big crowds, especially the rouseabouts, like, I'm not sure, like, if people realise how much it means that when you're on the game, you can hear cheering, you know, it's, uh, like, it makes the games more exciting, like, so, as, like, hopefully that they, they enjoy what they're seeing on the pitch as well, which helps. Like, but compared to other atmospheres we've gone to, we definitely have the best. That's why I think our home form should be very important this year. And so when we're at the games, make as much noise as possible. You don't believe how much it helps us. So hopefully that we show on the pitch what we can do and then you can help us on your side and we'll have a great year, I think.